Hi guys, it's Tammy, and this is little Luke. He is the little preemie silicone that I bought from Mel at Melamore Nursery. And I thought I would show his little belly button and his little tiny legs. I can't show his little boy parts, but um, He's getting starting to get just a tiny bit sticky, so I'm probably going to have to powder him next time. He has armatures in his little legs and his arms. Probably can't see. He does have big hands, but that's okay. And his little boobies are so cute. Can you see? He is so soft, very, very soft. But anyway, um, this is the first time I have dressed him on camera. I'm getting more used to him. I'm not afraid of him anymore. He's not going to break. I just be careful of him. I put onesies on all my babies. And I thought today I put on this little onesie that come in his box opening. It's gray and white with elephants and it has teal. And I love the collars. It has little um, mitts on the hands and um, little feet. And on the bottom of the feet, I just noticed it says Petit Liam or however you say that. It's the um, the name brand of the little sleeper. This says newborn, but it will fit him. So we're going to put him in that. I got the noodles and boo and it really calmed his hair down. I, I don't know. I, the girl that I found that would root him um, can't do it until probably April or maybe even May. So you got to kind of think about it. I've got time. The truth of the matter is I will not spend a fortune for silicone. It's, it's just that's I'm just not going to do it. And He's paid for, and if she could maybe root him and do his lashes, I, I may just um, keep this little guy. He may be a forever in my collection for having a uh, silicone because, guys, he is. His silicone is so soft and floppy. He's really pretty cute that way. So, we are starting to get the hang of dressing him. It is different to dress a little silicone. I keep his mitts on his hands because for me it's just a lot easier. Um, I love his little face. He is so little and petite. And I do like that. I wish his hands were just a little bit smaller. But that was, uh, you know, that was his pore. He is a one pore. There's no seams in him. Um, there's probably a little place I would imagine up on his head, but um, you can't see it for the hair. Okay, guys, I'm going to scoot him over a little bit. I found out what these are. I was calling these burp pads, but they're not. They're diaper changing pads, and you know what? I love these to put him on because things don't stick. And uh, I was looking at Amazon. I may actually 
get another one or two. Ah, mess that up. See, I'm, I'm still getting used to all this. And I know my hand's probably in the way, sorry. Some of these little openings aren't very big. Are they, Luke? He's not Lucas, he's just Luke. No middle name. I just, he's the only baby that I've got or had that's not had a middle name, but that's okay because he's my Luke. He looks like a Luke and I like Luke. Here we go. I think we're getting it, guys. So, I decided to do another video tonight. I just, I was watching Mandy's over at um, Mandy's Cuddle Bugs Nursery, and she was talking about Pat Pat. She'd gotten some clothes recently from Pat Pat, and uh, she was talking about the sizes and things. And I know I tried them, it's been quite a while ago. I haven't gotten anything from them for a long time. And I learned even the zero to three months that I got, or the three months, at the time I had a Huxley and he wore three to six months. And the three months were kind of big on him. So I just kind of quit. Um, I think they're a little bit hard to fit your babies with and definitely don't buy anything for a newborn because it will not fit at all. This is a tiny little silicone passy clip and I've never seen one. It is so cute. It's gray and white and I love it. Mel sent this in the box opening too. Um, but yeah, the Pat Pat clothes, they run big. I, I never did even attempt shoes because I just, you know, I didn't know how that would work. But I was going to do a devotional tonight. I put the um, noodles and boo on the brush. It, it, I tell you what, if you've got babies that's rooted, get some noodles and boo. I'm going to get up. I'll show it to you. This stuff is fantastic. <laughs> Grandma has trouble getting up and down. But um, I even, today when I washed my hair, I even put, I have very, very thick, coarse hair. And I also have low thyroid, so when I comb and brush my hair, I mean half my hair comes out with it. But it, for every hair I lose, I think I gain 20 or 30. This stuff is awesome. I got this from the Noodles and Boo company on their website. Highly recommend it. Hang on a minute and I'll get my devotional book and we'll do that. I had kind of a off day today so I didn't even get my devotional read this morning. I looked at it and I didn't get it read. Today's February 28th and it's a little lengthy. And I'm going to go ahead, this will be different too. Um, the chapters that go with this is Luke 6, 37, Isaiah 61, 10, and Proverbs 3, 11, and 12. Stop judging and evaluating yourself, for this is not your role. Above all, stop comparing yourself with other people. This produces feelings of pride or inferiority, sometimes a mixture of both. I lead each of my children along a path that is uniquely tailor-made for him or her. Comparing is not only wrong, it is also meaningless. Don't look for affirmation in the wrong places, your own evaluations or those of other people. The only source of real affirmation is my unconditional love. 
many believers perceive me as an unpleasable judge, angrily searching out their faults and failures. Nothing could be farther from the truth. I died for your sins so that I might clothe you in my garments of salvation. This is how I see you, radiant in my robe of righteousness. When I discipline you, it is never in anger or disgust. It is to prepare you for face-to-face -face fellowship with me throughout all eternity. Immerse yourself in my loving presence. Be receptive to my information, which flows continually from the throne of grace. You know, I think one thing that has helped me with losing my mom just three months ago is the fact that I know she was a believer. I know she loved Jesus. I know she worried about a few things that she had done in her past and the forgiveness. But I also, I personally know her heart and watching her decline and suffer the last several months of her life was so heartbreaking. Um, I grieved a lot during that time and I think that's why I've had an easier time with her passing because I know she's at peace. I know she's at heaven with Jesus and God and I know they're taking care of her and she's out of her pain. So that has really, really helped me. Guys, I uh, thought tomorrow maybe I've got a couple of boxes of knitted and crocheted items that I've gotten from uh, Janet Green and from Vicki at So Loved. Janet is on Instagram and actually I've got a few more things coming from her. Uh, I love both ladies. They do really nice work and I thought maybe tomorrow I might open up the boxes and show them to you. We'll kind of play it by ear and see what's going on and how I feel. Um, thanks for hanging out with me. Welcome all my new subscribers. Again, I really appreciate you for subscribing and I thank all you guys for coming back and chatting with me and watching my videos. I'm anxious to get out and uh, do a few things outside and show you a few things. So hopefully that'll happen before long. And uh, I will talk to you guys all later. Have a blessed evening and take care. Bye.